Good morning, people. It's uh, it's been a week that um, I, I've been working on this arcade cabinet because I did not get the proper parts. Um, even my uh, my drummer, the battery uh, charger for the drummer is is fried because somebody spilled milk on it. But that don't matter. Everything is done. And let me show you my new okay cabinet. Now, you see up here I have a webcam. That's because um, sometimes when I play, I also stream my gameplay. On the back, we have a power button that what powers on the uh, entire okay machine and to shut down as for this why I'm gonna have to uh, have to do something about that in the future inside the the riser is the uh, no, actually, there's nothing down here. It's just the cable coming out of it. Now let me show you on the inside of the cabinet how I did it. We can drop this down. Lights. That's a mini ITX motherboard. Uh, that's a power supply for the computer and this is a NVIDIA GTX it's an old GTX 750 uh, Ti uh, solid hard drive the USB hub for keyboard and mouse in case I need more slots uh, the amplifier is, is mounted onto the wood See, screw here and, and screw over here. Right now, I only have the the stock speaker, but once I get the additional speakers, I will mount it. I will mount it over here. Reason is, if I put it up here, it would uh, interfere with the. Uh, microphone up here inside the webcam about this show I got it from Home Depot for around three dollars it came as a three no a two by two fiber wood I asked the employee to cut it for me but before you do that make sure that you measure it and use a sharpie or a uh, use anything a pen or pencil to to draw the lines make sure to measure 18 inch by 17 and a half but you should add a little bit more than that because because the saw that they use at home depot or Lowe's they are not a hundred percent accurate because you see over here, we have a, a small gap right here. A small gap over there. Originally, I was going to saw it myself. See, I still have this wood. But unfortunately, I can't do that unless I spend another $35 on a new charger. My That's the uh, Gorilla wood glue. It sticks in very well. See, it's not going anywhere. It's uh, much more. See, over here I tried to use a screw. It didn't work out very well. Now you're probably wondering where these wires are going back here. Well, they they're not going anywhere back there except uh, I threw two additional holes on the opposite side of the wood one right here and one right there in the back 
That's because some of the cables need to go down, especially uh, the power supply cable because of this thing. It's really big. I pick up this power surge from Walmart for I don't know, probably six or seven dollars. It's one of their cheapest. This is the amplifier. Uh, that's the uh, the monitor, and this is the computer. And over here, I drew another hole for the uh, the power surge to go under the cabinet. So I don't have to drill additional hole in the back of the uh, case. This is one of the buttons that came with the, the control panel kit. I just have to rewire it into my power uh, pins. Okay, let's put it together and we're gonna power it up.